Hi, my name is Peter Jansen. I'm from Denmark. This is a video presentation of my entry in the Microsoft Dare to Dream Different competition. I have made a house access control system with enhanced doorbell functionality. I will now show you a demonstration of my system. First we will take a short look back in time to see how access control systems are made today. You find a numeric keypad where you enter the code to open the door and on some systems you might see a display unit like this one that can show some information to the user. This is characters only and no colors, no graphics. First we start with an overview of the system. Of course we need a door, so I have been built a model of this door. This can be opened and closed. It has an electromagnetic lock. It has a movement sensor that detects when guests arrive at the door. It has a doorbell. Well, this is an MP3 player. It has uh, MP3 files stored on a standard USB memory stick connected to my computer's speakers. We have a GSM modem to send text messages to a mobile phone and receive commands sent from the mobile phone and of course we have the .NET Micro Framework development board the Tahoe 2 system. The first feature of my system I will demonstrate is the guard dog. I use a passive infrared sensor to detect when someone walks up to the door. If the display is switched off like it is now, it will be switched on and a dog barking will sound. After a preset timeout where the sensor has not detected any movement, the display will again be switched off. As long as there is movement in front of the door, the display will be switched on all the time. The second feature is the doorbell. When the guest arrives at the door, he can see who lives there and he can press the button that represents the person he wants to talk to. <laughs> this personal tune is played, of course, inside the house and uh, everybody in the house can now hear that this tune is because someone wants to talk to this particular person. So only he has to get up and open the door. If no one opens the door, the guest can press the call again button. <laughs> the fun part of this is that you can have different customized tunes to be played for each person. And of course, if you want a more traditional doorbell tune, you can have that. And if no one opens, he can leave a message, he gets a keypad, 
a complete keyboard where he can enter a message. The guest can now see the message is sent. The next feature is the door access control. Forget about keys, all you need is a personal code which you enter when you need to open the door. If your code is recognized by the system, a voice will inform you that you can open the door. When the door is opened and closed, a user-defined tune can be played. All tunes are stored on the memory card for the MP3 player. To go to the screen where you enter your personal code to open the door, you use your finger, make a gesture on the touch sensitive screen, then you enter your personal code. Welcome. You can now open the door. The door is unlocked. You can now open the door and when you close the door a tune is played again. Of course you can decide which tune you want to play as this is again stored on the memory card for the mp3 player. If you forget to close the door, the system will remind you to close the door. 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 If you do not close the door within a preset time, an alarm will alert. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. And the text message will be sent to the mobile phone. Close the door. Close the door. Now the alarm is sounding. Now I receive a message on my telephone so that I know that something is wrong. Either I can choose to go to the numeric keypad here to switch off the alarm or I can use my mobile phone 